All right. Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It's still Mr. Shajari here. Welcome to Prep to Basics. We are still looking at our financial maths. And what you are doing now, basically, we are doing uh, an Eastern K paper. I think this is going to be the year 2022, right? Now, so let's look at this. Now, they are saying the interest rate uh, on an investment is X, right, per annum. Uh, then they are saying it's compounded monthly. Now, they want us to calculate the value of X, given that the corresponding effective rate is 9 point, what? It's 9.2%. Uh, All together. Now, so uh, now what is it that uh, you are going to do now from here? They want us to calculate what is going to be what? Now, they want us to calculate uh the nominal rate in this particular case right so which means here we are having uh uh this is one plus i effective which is going to be same as one plus i nominal uh, over your m this is to the power of m right now what is it that you're having in this case you're having the what you're having the effective rate which means here you're having one plus this is zero comma uh zero nine nine two uh is equals to this is going to one plus this is I nominal, which is the one that we do not know. But now we know that this is compounded monthly. This is to the power of 12, right? Then now we are going to do what? Now we are going to then uh, look for the 12th root of this, right? So which means here, this is same as 1, uh, comma, 0, uh, 0, 9, 9, 2. Then, then we are looking for the 12th root here, uh, which is going to be equal to it. This is going to be same as 1 plus I nominal. Uh, over what? Over 12. What I did, remember, I just looked for the root of 12 in here, right? And the root of 12 in there, right? Okay. So these one cancel this one, right? And now after that, what is it that you're going to do now from here? So you're going to start with the one and transpose the, when, the one, right? So which means this is same as, uh, now if I'm looking at this, this is same as uh, what? 1,00992. Uh, then this is subtract one. This is 12 root. Oh, it's okay. And then now you are going to be left with I norm over 12, right? And now what is it that you're going to do to, uh, to get rid of the 12, right? You are going to multiply this side by 12. And you are going to multiply this side by 12, right? So that these and these two are going to cancel each other, right? So which means then now your I nominal, right? Your I nominal is going to be given by what? This is same as 0, 0.0950, uh, right? Then you multiply this by 100, which means the nominal rate that you are going to end up having, this is 0, 0.095, right? Or right, this is 95%, right? Once again, so this is same as uh, 95%. Once again, so which means this is going to be what? This is going to be your 9,5%. percent we be fine. So basically, that's what you are going to have in the first question. Now, let's move swiftly along to our next question, right? Now, in the next question, they are saying a printer uh, value what depreciates according to the reducing balance method, right? So now, what is it that now you, uh, you, you can do in this, right? Now, they say it depreciates already. Now, when I think of depreciation, I'm thinking of A is equal to P into 1 subtract I to the power of N, right? So now they are saying it uh, now depreciate uh, on what? To this particular value, which means this is going to be the accumulated amount, right? So they say now uh, depreciate uh, for uh, seven years, the, the rate, the interest rate, it's going to be 12%. And then now the accumulated amount, which is going to be 28,637,30. Uh, now they want us to calculate what is the original price of the print, right? So which means we are looking for the principal amount. So this is going to be 28,607,30 is equals to this is same as P into 1 subtract. The interest given there is 0, uh, 0,12. And then now from here, then this is going to be to the power of what? This is to the power of seven. And now from here, what is it then that you're going to do? Then you're going to take whatever that you're having uh, and then you're going to divide both sides. Oh, it's okay. So now when you are doing that, what is it that you're going to end up having now? Which means your P, the value of your P is going to be same as 28,607,30 divide by what? 
This is divided by 1, subtract 0, 0,12. This is to the power of 7. So we find, then now, what is going to be the principal amount here? Then now, uh, your principal amount, it's going to be same as what? Now, because uh, they said you need to round off to the nearest, uh, what, uh, the nearest uh, thousand. So this is going to end up being 70,000, right? So this is going to be 70,000, which is going to be the principal amount of that particular, what, uh, of uh, that particular print. Are we fine, right? So now let's move swiftly along. Let's look at the next question in there, right? Let's look at the next question. Now, uh, in the next question, what is it that you are having? Now, 8.3. Uh, now they say uh, you are having a pr prathama, right? It's prathama. Uh, made an initial deposit of 32000 into an uh, investment account that pays an interest rate of 8.6%. Uh, per annum compounded monthly. Now they say another deposit uh, of 23,000 was made three year later. The interest rate uh, changed to 10.5% per annum compounded quarterly after the initial deposit, right? So they are saying, uh, how much was uh, Pratham investment uh, account? Or rather, how much was in Pratham uh, investment account at the end of the fourth year, right? Now, so now what is it that you're going to do now from here? So uh, to calculate that, then you are going to use our number line, right? The simplest thing that we can use, right? I always prefer the number line because here, you know, in terms of what was the initial deposit, it was 32,000, right? Then now this is for how many years, for an example. Now they said here, it's uh, we are still just looking for the first four years, right? This is year one, this is year two year one, year two, this is year three, and this is year four, right? They said up until year three, what is it that we did here? Up until year three. Now, this particular uh, amount was having an, uh, an interest of what? Of 8.6%, right? Of 8.6%. Now, they said after the third year, right? After the third year, uh, now, what happened? Then now, there was also a 20... Uh, what a uh, 23,000 that was deposited, which means here it's going to be plus 23,000, right? Plus 23,000, and then this is up until the fourth year. How it's okay. So, what is it that you're going to do now? The easiest thing that you're going to do also, uh, let's write the percentage. The percentage it's 10,5 percent, right? So, which means here you are going to say, right, look, this is a is equals to p into one plus i to the power of n. Now, what is it that you're going to have here, right? So I want to write all of these in one uh, streamline, right? So this is same as the principal amount. It's 32,000 uh, into 1 plus. What is the interest rate given there? This is 0, 0.086. This is over 12. This is for the first three years, right? So this is 3 multiplied by 12, which is, uh, right? which is going to be 48. Now this is going to be plus. Now we are also going to have 23,000, right? 23,000 into, right? So this is going to be doing 3,000 into uh, 0 into 1 plus, right? Let's just write this nicely. Into 1 plus, uh, plus 0, uh, 0, 0,08. Or rather now, because the interest rate, it's no longer 8. So which means here we are losing 10, right? So this is going to be 0, 0,1, 0, uh, 5, if I'm not mistaken. Divide by 12, right? Or... When did the interest rate, oh, the interest rate changed after the fourth year, right? So, yes, yeah, so which means uh, what I wrote there, yes, yeah, so this is same as 0, 0.086, if I'm not mistaken. Even here, just to rectify that, it's still 8,6%, right? The interest rate changed after the fourth year, right? How to get? So, this is still going to be same as over 12. Now, this is going to be same as one year multiplied by 12, right? Then now, what is the answer that you're going to get when you're adding both of these, right? So when you plug this in your calculator, you are going to have 70,000, 1, 4, 1, comma, what, comma, 0, 4. How do you get? So basically, that's going to be uh, the amount of money that you are going to have in there, right? Now, they say at the end of six years, since he started his investment, uh, Pratham decided to use all his balance as a deposit uh, for the car that cost 220000 and borrow the rest of the amount. Now, so they want us to know how much did 
uh, uh, now prasam uh, borrowed, right? So which means now, what is it that is important here? Now they said after six years, which means now, which means it's going to be two years after here, right? Let me just write this here. So which means here, it's still going to be same as A is equals to P into one plus I to the power of N. Now, what is it that you're having? We need to know in terms of after six years, how much will Pratham have, right? But what is important to note is that now after the fourth year, the interest rate changed to 10.5 and then it was compounded quarterly, right? Oh, it's okay. So which means then now you are going to take this 70,000 and calculate in terms of after six years, how much is going to be the uh this particular 70,000. So this is 70, 141,04 into 1 plus the interest is 0, 0,105 now over 4. This is for how long? This is for two years, right? Because when you're in the fourth year, moving to the sixth year, it's going to be two, which means this is going to be times two, right? This is same as times uh, two times four, right? And then now what is going to be the amount that you are going to accumulate there, right? So which means you are going to end up having 86,000. 86,200. This is 297,36. Oh, it's good. And then now what else then now are you going to have here from there? Now they wanted to know in terms of how much or uh, is Pratham supposed to borrow, right? So which means you're going to say 200, right? So this is same as 200,000. Subtract this value, right? Subtract this value. And then the amount of money that you're going to end up having, which is going to be what? The loan that Pratham is going to take, I think this is going to give him 133,000. 133,702,64, right? So basically, this is the amount of money that Pratham need to take as an in, uh, as a what, as a loan in order for him or her to purchase that particular car. I'll be fine, right? So thank you very much uh, for listening. Thank you.